You're listening to Talking Law, the podcast where business owners just like you discover how to avoid legal landmines and build value using smart legal tips. Hi, it's Joanna Oki here and welcome back to Talking Law, a podcast proudly brought to you by our commercial legal practice, Aspect Legal. Kobe, hello. Welcome on Talking Law. It's so exciting to have you on the show. Thanks again. Thanks again. It's always amazing to talk to you. I love seeing your smiling face and it's always so exciting and and I hope we can be entertaining for our crowd today. (laughs) We'll try our best, Kobe. We'll try our best, won't we? (laughs) Now, we're talking about a really exciting subject. We have the phenomenal Buy, Grow, Sell Summit coming up so soon and it's just I'm just blown away by the level of the speakers that we've got, Kobe. Boy, oh boy, including yourself. Boy, we have got some talent and some fabulous information coming out in these areas of, you know, acquiring for growth, scaling a business and preparing for your ultimate exit. Um, And today, Kobe, I really just wanted... Um, for us to give a snapshot of the sorts of things that you're talking about in the summit to give our audience a bit of a taste for what they can expect for the summit. So, Matt, but maybe let's, before we get into the content, you know, um, we were part of like this, this initial dream team of, you know, the reason for the summit right in the beginning. Um, I'd love to hear from your perspective. What is it that you loved about this buy, grow, sell? And why is it so important for business owners to be thinking about these stages in their business? Yeah, look, I mean, I, I'm going to open with I'm being selfish. Like at the end of the day, you know, I'm running a business. Um, you know, I've got a team. I've got a crew. Um, you know, we, we've, got a, we've got a pretty robust business plan we've been executing on. Uh, we've been around a while. We've been around 17 years. And, you know, I've got a heap more energy to, to give this thing a red hot crack. So we, we've got due diligence and acquisitions on our business plan. Uh, we've got growth. We've got big teams. We've got, you know, there's four businesses that operate out of our family office. Um, you know, so we've got acquisitions on our business plan. We've got growth. We've got scaling our leadership teams and our management teams um, and doing more with our people because we know that people are kind of the, the key to all of this. Um, and, and then we've got divestments. So, you know, we got, so we got a, you know, a pending big exit. Um, we're probably still 18 months away from that. Um, you know, maybe 18 might play out to be 24 months away from one of the businesses exiting. And, and, but we've got, you know, we've got stuff coming and going. And so for me, you know, just to go like, I'm going you know, to spend three days to kind of, you know, spend time with the who's who of Sydney in the business community. Um, and, and more importantly, the who's who of Australia. Well, and internationally as well, because we have got speakers from all over the globe. Yeah, absolutely. And, and 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 now we're looking at the registrations. You know, we're over, I think we're over 700 people have registered for this event, which is really exciting. Almost that, up to you know, 900, Kobe, I think. Well, there yeah, you go. Yeah. There it's, you go. It's, it's just as we speak, it's like shooting up. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, you know, I, I think for me, it was just about scratching my own itch. Like, what more can I can consume in terms of actually being successful with acquisitions? You know, we know, you know, there's the, there's the downside to acquisitions. We hear rumors about them not going so well, that the, the companies, you know, in mergers and acquisitions don't go so well. Um, so how can you prep for that and be really amazing at acquisitions, identify the right targets, you know, have win-win for the, for, for the party that's exiting and the party that's coming in. That in the growth phase, you know, what are the gold nuggets that we can pick up with, with doing and I'm going to be talking about some of that in I've got two sessions where I'll be presenting some of the incredible um, nuggets of gold information that I've picked up with the growth and scaling that we do both in our own businesses and as a management advisory organization Um, and also the exit side of things and Simon Bedard you know when we we the three of us got together and said let's do this thing Simon's got a huge amount of experience one of the most experienced people helping people with exits and exit advisory in the country and there's a lot of great businesses that could go on the market and create life-changing wealth for families that have grounded out they've been through all of the ups and downs of business and now they've got the you know they've got with a little bit more work and a little bit of a tidy up they can you know like selling real estate you style the house and you take the amazing photos and you do the marketing and then you get just that little bit more for your for your for your home when you sell it you can do that with a business you can style it 
you can touch the right key points that buyers are looking for, you can address the trends and, and you can market appropriately, and it can make an incredible difference to what you could basically say, you know what, I'm going to shut the door and walk away. You could actually be sitting on something that you didn't realise is incredibly valuable. So I think over three days at this summit, it's going to be really exciting. And I'm just being selfish. Like, you know, if, if I can just get all this information out of these speakers, I'm happy to contribute some value, but I'm going to be in there writing, you know, pages and pages of notes for my own benefit. And um, and so I hope, uh, I hope anyone that comes along to listen you know, we're going to put all the details um, in the description below this video and the podcast and that kind of stuff. So you can register, you've got to get to this event because it's it's kind of, you know, it's been a lot of work to get it put together. Um, a lot of people have been hustling a lot of hours uh, to put this together and prepare the content. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's going well, we've got good numbers. And if we can pull off a great event, then we might do it again, but then we might not, you know, like I ran that big summit in 2020. And, we haven't got it yet back off the ground again. So you don't want to miss this opportunity because it might be a once in a lifetime. And I don't want to sound like a greasy salesperson, but seriously, if we do it again, it'll be different speakers. So this time is this group of speakers. And if we do it again, it'll be a different group of speakers and they'll be saying different things. It'll only be this point in time where you get to, he get to hear this. And I am super excited. <laughs> I love it, Kobe. I am so excited as well. And I think you've absolutely hit the nail on the head. Register now, guys, because there's no other point in time. You may not, you may not get this quality of content again. Um, and and such important content, absolutely, as you're talking about, Kobe, that the the important decisions that business owners can make along the way, whether they're at the point of acquisition or during that growth period and, and prep for exit, that can make fundamental differences at the end of the day to the value of their business or indeed whether they even have a saleable business at the end of the day you know saleable business that someone else wants to buy or that they haven't blown up themselves along the way and this um i, I think ties in to uh, one of the things that you're actually talking about on our grow day so our grow day is part to a day two where we we're really talking about how to scale a business and i think here you're really focusing in on that whole you know how do you look after yourself how do you create a business that works for you individually and you know from my perspective from a legal perspective we want to be really careful that businesses aren't blowing themselves up with legal landmines but legal landmines are just one thing sometimes it comes to burnout and just creating a business that doesn't serve you because people haven't thought about it can you talk a little bit about this topic and what you're going to be honing in on in the summit on this area yeah absolutely look i'll tell you a quick little story um that um you know i've been running you know, i started my business in 2004 and and i you know it's you know, there's other businesses that have started and they hang off that and you know there's some organisms that that kind of touch on each other but the story is that in 2015 i was really burnt out um you know i'd been hustling really hard have the highs and lows of business basically you know if, if you look at my values i probably put my career then my family and then my health you know, in, 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 in what comes first and probably should have, you know, maybe rethought what my values were. And so I had a values reset. Um, and while I might've said that my family was the most important thing, I would not turn up to a family dinner because I had an important meeting or I would, you know, I would not be sitting at the dinner table because I needed to get some quotes out, or I would be sitting at the dinner table and getting text messages and direct messages and emails on my phone. And my four-year-old is sitting there you know, or, or at the time, you know, yeah, four, four year old at the time with spaghetti all over his face. And I wouldn't be paying attention to my four year old eating dinner. I'd be like paying attention to what's going on on the phone. And <laughs> it's, it's one I thing to have values, <laughs> you know, you might have family, um, health and fitness or career, you, you know, those three values, but you see in someone's actions where their values alignment is and which ones they put first. And someone who puts their career and business ahead of their family, you will see them I'll be talking about career and business ahead of talking about what's happening with their kids and those kinds of things. And in 2015, I went, right, that's enough's enough. When I was 20 years old, back in, in, in um, the late nineties, I basically said, right, um, I, I want to travel around Australia. I want to drive around Australia. And I have gone, not yet, not yet, not yet. In 2015, I went, that's it, enough's enough. Um, I'm going to go to Cape York, which is the very tip of Queensland in Australia. And to do that, I was like, right, I need to take five or six weeks off. 
Um, and I've got to go do that. Now I had had long trips along the way and, you know, three months in South America, you know, way back in 2008 and other trips, but it was at this time, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to set myself that goal. I'm going to go and take time off and I'm not setting myself up to do work along the way. I'm going to have quality time with my family before my son goes to school. And so the three of us set off and we had this amazing five ended up being six week holiday driving holiday four-wheel driving and you know going up into um you know northern queensland and up into the tropics and across the thursday island and had this incredible camping trip now in that time my business kept growing it was profitable um the the management team were happy um and i was able to you know continue i did a little bit of you know some social media videos and things along the way but the business continued to run and I didn't have to interact with customers or do quotes or any of that kind of stuff. So when I came back, I got an offer. Someone said, I want to buy your business. And I was like, that's incredible. You know, I got, you know, we get tapped on the shoulder and I was like, this is really interesting. And they're like, we just saw that you've been away for five weeks and your business is turnkey. And, um, and, you know, can we look at the numbers? So we start talking about the numbers. I'm like, okay. And they're like, what, you know, it's been growing. Said, yep. And they're like, well, how much of that is you? And I was like, you know what? The reality is none. And, and actually, then I thought about it and they kind of put in an offer and I was like, you know what? Actually, I don't need to sell this business because it gives me an income in dividends and I don't need to be there every day. I've just had this incredible holiday. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to work Mondays and Fridays. I'm going to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm going to take my son to school on a Monday and, uh, and, and pick him up from school on a Friday. And I'm going to have some me time on Mondays and Fridays and have kind of a four day weekend and work three days a week. So, you know, there's things you need to do. You can't just kind of click your finger and say, I'm going to go do that. We had been building up some routines and some, some, some legacy activity in our business to get to that. And so when we get to the summit, I'm going to give some people some tips on, on, on what to do and what to focus on. Now, the catch is some of those things we kind of all know need to do it, know, know we need to do them, and, um, and I'll talk about them. But what I see when I'm advising businesses is people don't value those activities, and it comes back to values alignment. And so when you value your family, you will value those activities. Or when you value having work-life balance, you will value those activities. And, that, and it takes effort to invest in them. What am I talking about? taking time off to work on your business, not in your business. Mm -hmm. I take time off. It's really hard to do because there's so many competing demands and it's easy to be reactive, but I deliberately put every 90 days, two days in my diary to work on my business. I don't take any calls. I pull my managers off site and we set goals and we set 90 day sprints. Now it's really easy. Someone gets sick or they want to go on holidays or whatever. It's really easy to cancel that or delay it or postpone it. And if you do that, that shows that you value being reactive and letting your business take control over taking control and actually making a life for yourself. Now, ironically, if you do take that time out to work on your business and you do achieve those goals, you achieve higher multiples at exit. So that's the kind of stuff we're going to be talking about is you might not value it now because you're like, no, I'm not going to stop. I can do one more billable hour or one more job or one more bit of cash flow right now in terms of revenue. But when you invest time working on your business and working on the right things, then you will get multiples. And I'm talking multiples of millions, not yet extra five or $10,000 in a transaction today. You will get multiples of millions at the back end. So you've got to invest now to get the, the good high quality exit down the track. Now, if you choose not to exit, you're going to have an amazing life because a business that is running really well, you're not going to want to sell. Exactly. So, yeah. And I mean, you know, what a message. I just absolutely love it, Kobe. Um, and of course, on the summit, you're going to give the secrets away. Yeah. 100%. 100%. So, and, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about some of the things that I do and I focus on in my business that have given me, you know, I get tapped on the shoulder every kind of six to 12 months. The multiple offers, you know, the offers are getting higher and higher every year. And I am tracking my share price. Like I'm not publicly listed. And, and so I want to show companies how to do that. Um, you know, we obviously sell a service where we go in and we, help people, we give people permission to work on their business. We, we like a personal trainer in a gym. We sit beside in partnership with people. We, you know, I'll show people how to do the push-ups. 
I'll show people how to do the leadership meeting, the 90 day meeting, you know, the, the, the sprints, how to set these things up. I will deal with the objections as to why they might want, not want to do it. Um, I'm not saying you have to do it. You don't have to do it. I'm going to continue to do it because I'm going to keep growing value in my business. But if you want to know how I'm doing that, I'll show people. Like, so you, you know, you can go away from the summit and you can go, okay, yeah, I know that I get it. If you, if you know, the question will be, is it a question of affordability or you don't see the value? If you don't see the value, then I'll help you to discover that. And, and then if it's a question of affordability, it's literally, I can't afford the time to work on my business. I will show you how to afford the time and how to make it a priority and how to work on it. And those things will pay dividends. So now in this business, I really only work probably 12 hours a week. Um, and I just do the bits that I really love doing, which is podcasts with Joanna. <laughs> I love it, Kobe. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it, it looked really interesting um, hearing about you talking about that first instance of being tapped on the shoulder, because I, I find that that's almost a moment of um, dawning for business owners. And, and I think you're very lucky as a business owner if you have that rather than that dawning being at the actual point that you want or need to exit. And because when you have that and, and you know, essentially, I think like the insider tip here, and we, we can talk more about this on the summit and in future podcasts, the insider tip here is don't ever go for that first offer, right? But this is such a good, unless it's a brilliant um, offer, but generally that first offer won't be because your business won't be ready to achieve maximum value at that point if you've not thought about it and got it ready. But that, but that is such an incredible opportunity for you to suddenly look at your business from a buyer's eyes, suddenly realise actually what you're building is this asset, this asset that has value at sale. But what I love in your message, Kobe, is it's not just about building a saleable business. It's also about living a business that serves your real, you know, your need, your desires, and and about opening your eyes up to what that is, what the what the opportunities are, rather than allowing yourself to be run ragged by business, because so many business owners out there are living that day to day um, run ragged through business, you know, and there's another way, and it helps you with your multiple at exit. Isn't it beautiful? What a beautiful oh, crazy. thing, Kobe. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Like. It is like a seesaw that's got no balancing point in the middle. It's either one way or it's the other way. And, and, you know, when you tip it the other way, it'll stay that way. So, you know, you can get dragged back in and, and of course you can then choose what that looks like, but it, it does, it obviously takes a lot of discipline and routine, um, and, you know, and, and a lot of strategic thinking. Um, but the more that you try the discipline and you try the routine and you try the strategic thinking, the more the that you practice, the better you'll get. So, you know, we, we kind of said, you know what, let's put this stomach together. Let's talk about some of this great stuff. Um, and I don't, you know, I don't want people to go, ah, oh, you know, give it to me right now because I will. I'll give you some in a second. But, <laughs> no, hold um, back. Because you know, we've, yeah. we've got, and we can't do it justice in this sort of short time no. frame as well, no. right? You know, and that's why you've got to come along to the summit so you can hear Kobe, you know, share those real gold nuggets about where it's going. And, and you know, and, and all of those days buy, grow and sell just, you, you know, whilst, whilst they're separate segments, it's all part of the same whole, you know, oh, 100%, 100%. work together. And I am super excited to hearing so much more from you in the Buy, Grow, Sell Summit. Well, look, that's a wrap for now. I just want to say a huge thank you for coming onto the podcast. You're and I am excited. Um, if you haven't worked out uh, what you need to do as a listener, then uh, just check out the show notes and all you have to do is click the registration link so you get access to um, some of these amazing insights from Kobe talking on day one and day two. So day one, we're talking, Kobe, all about um, what to do when a business acquires another business in terms of what's the next steps? What do they need to do to integrate leadership and management? So we'll be talking about that. And then on day two, we'll be really honing in on this discussion um, that we've started today. Kobe, I just want to say a huge thank you for joining us today on Talking Law. Always lots of fun, Joanna. Always lots of fun. I'm always happy to come back. I really look forward to seeing everybody at the Buy, Grow, Sell Summit. Um, obviously, the link is below in the show notes. 
Um, go check out the landing page. Um, there's an incredible array of speakers. I'm really excited. Um, and um, yeah, if I don't pay attention to anybody else, it's because I'm selfishly grabbing all of the value that I want. That's out of those it, three that's days. It. I know we all but, are. We're all super absolutely. excited to hear, you know, all of the content. Huge thank you, Kobe. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Anytime. Well, that's it for this episode. Now, and make sure you catch more valuable topics around this area and around the legal tips and tricks for law generally in talking law. Now, if you're interested in talking to our lawyers about anything related to this topic, then head over either to our website at Aspect Legal. Dot com dot au or to the show notes where you can find a link straight to booking a free 15 minute discussion with our legal team. Well, that's it. Thanks again for listening in. This has been Joanna Oki and Talking Law, a podcast proudly brought to you by our commercial legal practice, Aspect Legal. See you next time. Thanks for listening to Talking Law. Tune in next time for more smart legal tips and tricks to keep you clear of those legal landmines. If you want to get a download of today's show notes, head over to talkinglaw.com.au. Are you looking for a top quality legal team to assist you in your organisation? Aspect Legal is an innovative commercial legal practice that specialises in providing fast and professional services for their clients. If you'd like to chat about how we might be able to assist you, simply head over to our website at aspectlegal.com.au to book in a time for a free discussion with one of our lawyers.